Now you have put yourself in my position at that time. I couldn't use my hand for before my chief. Help me, chief. What happened now? It's time to flee. Can I do it now? <laughs> I couldn't do that. My brother says. And I was alone. That I was only looking at the faces of the broken that you have managed, you have been brave enough to change the government. I must respect that. And I told Tuanku in the most solemn language. I'm going to go with you, Tuanku. Sembah pati pohon di aku, pati pohon sembah ke aku pun. That was a simple answer to the question. I tell you, I have never uttered those phrases in my life. I have never uttered those phrases in my life. In a language which was so solemn to talk to. Because I was instructed to make the post. And my only way of expressing begging to defer to destruction was using the most kind knowledge of punish. Ampun tuanku, beri beri wo ampun sebab pati pohon ampun pati pohon sebab nak. Maybe you as the Canaanites, you might not be used to these languages. I wasn't used to that language as well, but I had to use it at that time. So some of some of some of my guys, I was in tuanku, they don't want to come, and from the shock that we resign. Which I refuse. And being a Malay, being a Muslim, you know, not to, to disagree with the Sultan is a greatest regret in the culture of Malay and Muslim. And you can imagine how I was and my, my, my feeling and my position at that time as a Muslim and as a Malay. I was instructed by the Sultan. And it's not just a common Sultan, it's one of the greatest Sultan on earth. Asking me to resign. And I refuse. Because what? In my little knowledge of what I knew, at least there was a history in Peru. There was a history in Peru where the Sultan, the damn Sultan at that time, Sultan Ibrahim, he was not in harmony with the Chief Minister at that time, who was the father of the ex Chief Minister Tadarusi. He was the Chief Minister at that time, Ghazali. Tuanku at that time had a hard time trying to, trying to sack the Chief Minister. But because the LA, the legal advisor of the state advised Tuanku that there is no power for Tuanku to sack the chief minister. And he was advised correctly and he followed that advice. He didn't sack the chief minister because he realized that he did not have the power to sack the chief minister at that time. It already happened in Peru from the 25 years ago. You can study history of Peru. So ladies and gentlemen, the palace the role was only that the grammar power happened in the past. What transpired, I think that has to be, that has to be uh, respect.